As a gamer, I am pretty excited about today's video because I simply got blown away by the performance of something which I didn't expect at all, a projector. Today, we're gonna talk about the BenQ X3000i. Not just one of the many projectors on the market, but probably the best 4K gaming projector of the year. I had so much fun testing this one out as it took my couch gaming to the next level. It basically converts your living room into a home cinema, so watching movies and documentaries will also give you this epic experience. Definitely make sure to stick till the end as we're gonna talk about pretty much everything you need to know about this HDR 4K gaming projector. Let's get right to it. Before we get started, here's a little overview of everything we're gonna cover. If you still have questions afterwards though, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. So let's get started. I think the design is really nice. It looks a little bit futuristic. We'll blend in most interiors probably with the minimal looks it has. I think they did a really good job on this one. Along with the projector, of course you will also find a power cord inside the box to power up this bad boy, a smart remote with some batteries, and yes, you can also control the projector with your voice, which I think is really nice, some mount legs if you also want to mount it on the ceiling, an Android TV dongle which you can put inside the projector, the BenQ QS01, and of course also some quick start guides to fire up this bad boy, get gaming as quick as possible. But let's move on to some specifications, basically the key features which you can find on this projector. By the way, I am by no means a tech guy, but I'm sure most of you will find this information valuable. So it's basically a 4K UHD projector. It has a brightness of 3000 NC lumens, which works well even in lighter interiors, 500,000 by one contrast ratio, and also 1.07 billion colors displayed. It has a 4 LED lamp source with up to 30,000 hours of lamp life depending on your settings and also a throw ratio of up to 1.5 which makes up for a huge screen with a 110% projection offset. You will have different input lags depending on your resolution but for a projector I think these are pretty impressive with also 3 dedicated low latency game modes at Full HD 3D. It has around 30 degrees both vertical and horizontal 2D keystone adjustment so you can install it on the side and it can also be connected with Android 10.0, Bluetooth 4.2 and Google Cast. Of course it also comes with different HDMI ports, 3 in total, an USB type A connection and 5 watt Travelo dual speakers and these are the dimensions. If you want to see all the specifications for this projector make sure to check out the link in the description, it will bring you to the official BenQ website. The installation of the projector is very simple. I definitely recommend you to follow the quick start guide. It literally took me like five minutes to set it up. I tested the projection from different angles in my living room, first exactly in the middle against the wall, and then also on the side with the 2D keystone adjustment. Of course, closer projections to the wall will make a smaller image, but usually give the best results. But I wanted to go for the full experience as big as possible, and I wasn't even a maximum size. But seriously, I was impressed with the quality because I normally play games on a 4K monitor and this just felt the same. The brightness and contrast, the blacks and whites, but also the vibrance of all colors. These are without doubt very important factors for everyone to have an immersive feeling when you're playing games. But if you also like to watch nature documentaries, for example, just like me, then this is going to be a treat for the eye as well. I mean, most movies and series these days are recorded with some serious equipment and before they get published in 4K, they also add a lot of special effects to make them look even more immersive and that is exactly what you get with this projector. The quality of everything is just stunning and kind of gives you the feeling that you're sitting in your own cinema. If you want to go for the best movie night experience though, I do recommend you to upgrade your speakers. Even though the built-in Traveler speakers are pretty nice and will do the job for most people, I think they do lack a little bit of power that pretty much give you the extra punch which you get in theaters. For built-in speakers though, they do sound pretty nice and also can go quite loud volume wise, but maybe it's because I always had my projector behind me, maybe if you put it on the side, let's say, the audio quality will be even better. So yeah, if you love watching movies, check out some nature documentaries here and there and also binge some series on Netflix, this projector is definitely for you. I mean, this is something we did a lot with the family in the past weeks with testing out this projector. I do want to be honest though that I wasn't always very happy with the quality which I got off my recordings with my camera as it simply isn't powerful enough. You can see a little bit of banding popping up, so don't worry, it's not the projector. Anyways, let's move on to gaming because that's probably the reason why you're watching this video. I have to be honest, I did that a lot when I was testing it, so let's check it out. 
I decided to go for an Xbox Ultimate Pass, so I was able to check out different games, but the ones I had most fun with, spent most time on, were Star Wars, Jedi Fallen Order, Anthem, and also Tunic. These are still pretty new games on the market, the effects which you see in game are next level, and of course we want to talk a little bit about the performance. I played everything in 4K at 60Hz and this has an input lag of 16 milliseconds on paper, but I didn't feel this at all. Everything was super smooth also in the shooters, I mean I literally had no problems at all with the responsiveness of the projector. As a huge Zelda fan, I also decided to check out Tunic, which is basically a slower paced game where you play as a fox and go on an adventure, but seriously the vibrance, the colors in this game, they make up for an epic experience on this projector as well. Once again though, I want to say that my camera wasn't always the best to make these shots in the dark. Anyways, during my Anthem gameplay, I also decided to record shots from different angles in different lighting situations. So in this shot, we have a lot of light coming from the right side of my living room. The window was open entirely, but still the image quality is great. I mean, the colors, the brightness of everything looks really nice. If we go to pitch black, this without doubt will give you the best experience possible, the best lighting conditions of course for a projector, but I personally thought this wasn't necessary at all. I already had a beautiful image with a window open for like 50% and I could still fetch a glass of water let's say. These are some pretty weird shots I made from very close to the wall, even though the projector is standing like really far away, you can tell that the quality is still very impressive. Take your gaming to the next level with the three built-in dedicated game modes. Go for a full cinematic immersion for RPG, the one that I love to use as it gives you a deep base and also the cinematical experience which also works very well for movies and series. But there is also an FPS mode with clear vocals, realistic scenes. While for the sports fans out there we have locating sound effects and revealing details but basically every single one of them comes with a low latency setting so they're gonna work very well for pretty much any category of games. I think I have over 10 hours worth of gameplay to show to you guys, but that would only make this video longer than necessary. This is one more shot where you can see the comparison with my 17 inch laptop, which is exactly right there. I mean, the screen size is massive. It definitely gives you that immersive experience you expect from a projector without making any visual sacrifices. So. The image is sharp, you have vibrant colors, the brightness and contrast is just right. It feels great to watch movies on this one as well as series, but of course for all the gamers out there, I mean you have little to no input lag, the responsiveness is great, even for FPS games it just feels really nice. As a PC gamer it is very difficult to judge, I mean I have a fantastic 43 inch monitor with 4K right in front of me, but if I where to choose uh, for a TV or a projector, I think it would be a no-brainer for me. I mean, the size of this thing, the immersiveness it gives you, it's just fantastic. And if you play on a next-gen console, the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox One X, I think this is definitely one to get your hands on. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, definitely make sure to hit that like button for a second. It helps me out big time, helps out the channel, and of course, also other people who are searching for a review video. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. I'd love to answer them. Of course, right now, though, it is 4 a.m. out. I want to wish you an awesome day. Till next time, peace.